Sixth grade, module two, lesson four, problem set. Calculate the quotient. If needed, draw a model. First, we have eight ninths divided by four ninths. So since those have the same denominator, we don't need, it already has a common denominator. We don't need to find one. So we have eight ninths divided by four ninths. And eight divided by four is two. So the answer is two. The next one also has the same denominator. I could write it out using the units, but I can already see that nine divided by four, I can't do that equally. So I'm going to draw tenths. And shade in nine of them. And then split them into groups of four, four tenths. So there's one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two. I would need another two tenths, three, four. So this would be a we have not two shaded, there's one shaded out of the four, so it's equal to two and one fourth. Number three, three fifths divided by one third. I'm going to do that one down here. So we need to find a common denominator, and for five and three, we have five, ten, 15, 20, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So there's our least common multiple of 15. So let's make 3 fifths into 15 times 3, be 9 15 and make 1 third into 15 times 5 gets us 15, so that would be 5. And now we have 9 15 divided by 5 15. So I'm going to draw 9 15. And shade in 9 of them. And then I need to separate them into groups of five. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five fifteenths. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one, and this is, we have four shaded in out of five. So this would be equal to one and four fifths. And then the last one, three fourths divided by one half. We need to find a common denominator, so we have 4 and 5, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so there's our common multiple, 20, and let's make 3 fourths into 20ths, 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 5 is 15, and 1 fifth into 20th times 4 times 4 would be 4. So our new problem is 15 20ths divided by 4 20ths. So let's draw 15 20ths. Okay, I think that's 20. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, I have one extra. Okay, I'll shade in 15.
and then separate them into groups of four twentieths. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three whole groups, and then this group has three shaded out of four, which gives us an answer of three and three fourths.